All right, it's May 17th. You may have heard a rooster crow right there. It's early in the morning. It's a Sunday. And we're getting ready to head down to North Myrtle Beach, and I had a viewer make a request to do a tour of my RV that I show parked in some of my other videos. So I thought this would be a good time to do it. So let's get started. I have a 2017 Dynamax Rev. That's why I call it Old Rev because it says Rev right there on the side. It's built on a 3500 Dodge Promaster chassis, six cylinder engine. Here's a look at the front. And the reason we bought it is because we wanted an RV that we could just park in any parking lot, and this one fit the bill at 24 foot. And we take it everywhere. Down the side, I have a little compartment right here where we keep our leveling blocks and air compressor and things like that. There's your fresh water tank access, sewer hose access, a little outlet for the water heater right there. All your plugins are right here at the back. And it has an outdoor shower right here. If you open that up, you can see the shower and also keep my my awning mat out mat in there. Well, it just it's perfect size. We just fold it up, stick it right in there. <clears throat> Here's a look at the back. I had to build that spare tire rack because the RV didn't come with one. There's no space underneath to put one, so they just you just didn't have an a, a spare tire. And I think a lot of RVs this size don't have one. And so I I had a fella that I know make me that spare tire rack right there and works good and I can pull my trailer with me when I want to. It's got a backup camera up top. We're taking the golf cart with us this week, but we normally don't take it. We're just taking when we get down to North Motor Beach we'll take it at the campgrounds down there. Yeah, so there's a look at this side again. Has a compartment to store stuff in here. Electric steps. Electric awning. And then you have the batteries in there. Has a ready-made plug-in if you want to use solar, but we don't use solar. Yeah, so that's the outside. I'll go inside here real quick and take a look in here. Oh, that messed up one of my floor mats. My wife's going to be mad when she comes up here in a minute. Anyway, let me close the bathroom door real quick. Fix this mat so I don't get in trouble. There's the sink and the stove right there. It has lighting underneath, under the cabinets there. There's your air conditioner. This side here is your controllers. Control everything, your buttons and whatnot, drawers. Got a microwave. I guess a convection oven type microwave. I don't know. We don't ever use it. Good size refrigerator for this size of an RV. Air conditioning up top. Got the couch down here. Folds out into a bed. Got your dinette right here. We have the dinette table out right now because I'm having it cut down. It was it was a nice dinette table, but it was too big. And when you would try to lift this up to put storage underneath, it would hit. So it's kind of a pain. Right now we just have our little dog's bed right there. There's the controls for the Truma Combi Combi water heater and heater. And TV up front there, radio. Mm -hmm. Here's what the Dodge Promaster cab looks like. Seats are swivel, but swivel, but we don't swivel them around. Yeah, pretty yeah. Got a little came with. I bought it used, and it came with that little Roman RV deal there. Works good. Uh, let's see. Go around back. <clears throat> Another reason we bought this. 
This one here is because we wanted a big bathroom and a small camper and we got it in this unit here. Got the shower right there, nice big shower. Got a sink, cabinets underneath. And there's storage behind that mirror right there. When you're ready for bed, you just come in here. Turn this switch on. Push this button, your bed will come down. Now you can stop it right there if you want to and hold that couch out and make a bed out of that and you have like a bunk bed situation, but it's just me and my wife, so we don't do that. We'll come on all the way down. And then that, there's a ladder right here. You'll see it there at the window. Hooks in right there and it steps really. It's not really like a ladder, it's little steps. Got a full size bed there, it's a comfortable bed, I love it. Got the TV, you can see the TV at night. You can look out the windows on each side if you want to, if you're in a nice area to do so. And then in the morning, when you're ready to go back to daytime life, you just put the bed back up and you're ready to go. So yeah, the Dynamax 2017 Rev RV is a great RV for us, great RV for two people, maybe a kid, but I say for two people. I mean, it's, you can see it's not that big, it's 24 foot long. But we love it, we're getting ready to head down to the beach here this morning. We'll do some coastal towns down there for you, do some walk or talks down there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of my RV. Maybe it's something you'll want to get for yourself. And they don't make these Dynamax revs, revs anymore. But they make similar RVs. I think Ford makes one. So you can check them out or buy a used one like I did. I bought this one used. Bought it. Had 5,000 miles on it for $49,000. A couple years back. I think that was a good deal. We looked and looked and looked and found what we wanted and we got it. And now we're on the road with it. Hopefully, if you want an RV, you'll do the same. No matter what size you buy. Get, get what you need for you. Y'all take care.